Hi everyone. I joined a birthday challenge for Nicole and I have her information here. It is due by May 15th or I think she extended it to the 24th. I'm not sure. This is her Instagram. It's natty natty underscore natty underscore natty underscore 28 and then her YouTube is n n m Nicole P3341. So if you want to join the challenge or see her, um, the things that she receives, follow her on Instagram or YouTube. And the birthday challenge is a 3D project. Uh, she wants everything done in pink, pink paper collection. She wants some uh, memory decks, three layers, three plus layers, one flower, one bow, a dangle, seven beads or charms, and one sequin mix, at least one tablespoon, and an ATC card. So I have everything made and ready to go. So I thought maybe I'll just take you on the journey to pack everything up. So the first thing we have is the dangle. I've already got it uh, ready to go, just not packaged, but this is the dangle. Um, I'm pretty new at this, not new at wire wrapping, but new at doing dangles. So I just picked up uh, a bunch of charms from Tamu. And I usually get them from Allie, but I was running kind of short on them. So I just dug through my beads and picked out pink ones and did a dangle for her. And I'm going to put it in here. I'm not going to put a bag topper on it because it's pretty long and I've got my box ready to go, the inside anyways, and I need it to fit in there. So I'm just going to get ready to go if I can get this undone. I don't know if I told you I have an Instagram too. Uh, my Instagram handle is Diane's Designs. So I'm just going to put it like this just, just to keep things from catching. And this is the box. I'm hoping I can get everything in this box. I'm going to uh, try to anyways. I think it will go. I'm not sure. Okay, so the next one I have is... Um, the 3D project, which is my flower, and I'm not very good at flowers, so I just made a flat flower. I am I try, but I'm just not good at them. But this is my 3D project. This is a die that I bought from Scrap Diva Designs, and I just love it. I use it all the time. I need to glue this in. I will do that now because I, I guess I forgot to. I'm just going to hot glue it in real quick just so it doesn't come out when she pulls the cup out. Oops, sorry. All right. So inside the cup, I just... Uh, I put her sequin mix in. She's one of the requirements. And this is the sequin mix. Um, I did make her swap silver and pink. Only because most of the charms that I had, or the charms I needed to use was silver. But the sequins I did gold because I love pink and gold. Those are my favorite colors together. So I just put a bunch of little... Different mixes from everything that I have. Um, some of this I just recently hauled on Tamu, and a lot of it I've, I've just had in my stash. And I probably have got, I don't know, maybe 20 different things in here. But I just wanted it nice and sparkly. And uh, just to kind of match. I think it kind of matches anyway. So... Um, I'm going to fold that and put it in this cup. So that will be in the cup. She wanted things to fit in the pro in the 
3D project, but that's not going to happen. I tried, but it's not going to happen. See, this is the bag. So on this, um, on the lid here, this is a lid topper that's also part of uh, Erica's dies. So I decided to use it just to uh, make it, you know, more glamorous. And I picked up these cupcakes. They're actually lip glosses, and I don't think people actually use them for lip gloss. I'm not going to open it, but I thought it was pretty cute since it's a birthday challenge to kind of make it look like a birthday. So that's what I did. I used my favorite bow and some um, tinsel eyelash trim. And these spoons I got from Tamu. And I'm going to give her one to go with the sequin mix. I'm going to keep it in the baggie and slip it behind here with the flower. And then one of the requirements was um, a AC card. So I just made an envelope and this is the card that I made. And she wanted uh, information on the back. So that's what I did. I put my information on the back. Just this happy birthday. I'll probably make her a card to go with it. I, I didn't make it yet, but um, I'll probably do that. And if I don't have time, I probably won't. So I'm not gonna not gonna say I will. I'm gonna try. So this is the bag I'm gonna put it in. And then I have some, I have some of this ribbon. I'm just going to tie it up. It's probably should have had this to go before, but I didn't. I wanted to show everybody, or I wanted to show everybody, <laughs> I wanted to show you before I bagged it up. Uh, instead of untying it and going through it. So I just figured I'll just have you go through the process with me. And then maybe I see if I can do a little bow out of this. I might have cut it too short. I'm not sure, but we'll try. All right. So in the box, I'm going to sit sit it sideways in the box. And this will probably be the last time I'll show you the box. Let's see, I wanted it against the wall. Yes. Ah, this way. So I'm going to put it that way. And then everything else will just go sideways. So the next thing that's kind of bulky is this milk carton I made. Um, I've already put beads in here, two bottles of beads, and I've already tied it up, and I put, these are uh, from Spellbinders, and then these little flowers, the die cuts, and then I just did a little hay on a pen and put it in the ribbon, and then I'll just stick it in here. Just so it doesn't get squished. Well, maybe, I don't know. Hopefully it won't get squished. It shouldn't. The box is pretty sturdy, so. But it will keep it nice and. It will keep it nice and clean. So I'm going to stick that in. Okay. And then the next biggest thing is I got her some candy in a nice pink bag. So she wanted pink and since I like unicorns I thought that will fit so in it goes all right and some of these I didn't put the bag toppers on whoops sorry I keep that there so I know how far not to go beyond the camera um this this topper was um, gifted 
I had there. I think she had bows in here. I can't remember what she had in here, but I think it was bows. So I just used reused the the bag topper and the and and the and the bag, and I, I made this bow and this bow. Um, I guess it, I figured it would make up for the flower, right? Since the flower was kind of not that great. All right, and then I did make this embellishment. This is a little caddy, and I think I've had it for such a long time, but I think it came from KS, KS Crafts. I'm pretty sure it did. And I made, this is the die I used from, this is also from Scrap, Scrap Diva Designs. And then I made a rosette, and I just put this little, little caddy together and to make an, an embellishment. It's a little extra, but I thought I like it, so I wanted her to have one. She can use it however she wants. So we'll just stick it in here. Oh, of course I got it the wrong way. Gotta go this way. close it up if I can that's the thing about these bags sometimes when you reuse bags it's hard to open hard to close hard to put stuff in there there we go okay oh I did put it in right well darn You know, us old folks, we forget things, so. <laughs> All right, and then I think it was, now I don't remember which bag topper was which. Oh, you know what? This bag topper was, let's see. No. What did I make this for? Oh, you know what? I did make a bag topper for this. I forgot. All right. Let me just... Sorry, I'm going to knock you around. I just pulled on the cord. I'm glad I did make a bag topper. That's pretty nice because that will look a lot better than the way it was before. So that definitely looks a lot better, right? And this is just crepe paper here, crepe paper bow I made. I, I wrapped this up, put some yarn. And a little butterfly I found in my stash. Oh. oh, there you go. All right. And then the next is this, which I've already told you about. So we'll go ahead and put this on. This is just a little cut apart I put on this bag topper. Let's, I'm going to see, what should I do? I can't glue it and I can't tape it. I probably should have. Just do a little bit. There we go. Just so it sticks down a little bit. Perfect. Okay. So there's my embellishment. And then last but not least, I have my memory decks and I, I did a video on how I put this together. It's just a butterfly, some flowers I made with crepe paper. Um, I backed it up on some tool. I made a crepe paper rosette. I not 
sure where I got the butterfly die from or the dream die from. Or let me see the flowers. No, I don't. I can't even tell because before I did dupe tube, I, I never really cared about, you know, who made what or or kept them separate. I just did a whole lot of crafting. But um, now I'm trying to keep track of it. This is the shaker. Now I'm trying to keep track of everything, which is a lot easier. But when the old things, I just, sorry, just don't know. All right. So we're going to put this, this in first. It's kind of delicate. I don't know. I'm out of frame. Sorry. But. Just got to get everything in there without scrunching anything up. There we go. Get a new bag because that kind of broke off. I think it's gonna hold. I don't think it's gonna hold. Hold on, just a moment. Okay, let's see if I think this might fit better. Or. I think when I take the backing off this, I mean, this one's this. I think I'll go with the wider one. Because this one rips, so we'll just take this off and throw this bag away. And we'll put it in this one. All right, here we go. Something's catching. There we go. On the struggle bus, aren't we? Let's see what's catching here. I don't know. There we go. All right. I'll put a sticker on that. And this bag topper I made is going to be a little small, but that's fine. This is uh, Scrap Diva's design. This I don't know, but and this ribbon I got from Chaos Craft. This flower, which I'm going to put this on after I put the package on, came from Dollar Tree. They had some choice of blue and pink. And I got it for Easter. I didn't use it. And I think they had purple and another color, but I don't remember the other color. Okay, so I'm going to... And the, and the reason I didn't put the flower on is because I knew it would be too hard to try to tape it before I... before I did. So... All right, and now I will glue. Right now, glue here. All right, let's see, I wanted it. There we go. Okay, and then all I need to do is either get the sticker peeled off or I'll put a sticker on it. Let's see. 
I'll have to look for a sticker, but that's okay. All right, so this is the last item that's going in. And then it is off. I think this will fit. It's pretty full. I think this box might be able to stand up. And then I can stick. There we go. That would probably be a better fit. All right, so that will be the box. All nice and pink and ready to go. I'll just cover that sticker up and get it wrapped and send out. So I thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.